So 500 gigabytes, 512 gigabytes is, in my opinion, the bare minimum that you need in 2020. Anything less will suck, believe me. If you only have an SSD, you will at least need one terabyte, no question about that. And I, for my current build, got myself two one terabytes, so two terabytes all in all. I plan to store my programs on one disk and the other disk, the other chip actually, is for... Initiating. Welcome back. Welcome back to my daily grind. Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night. No time to lose. One day, one step in the right direction. I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, you can do it too. Welcome back to the vlog. It is Friday in our day. A in our chance to push hard. And the topic for this vlog is how much SSD capacity do you need in 2020? So let's get it. By the way, all the PC build related vlogs right here. Watch them all. But before we get started, love goes out to all my subscribers. Thank you for making my life special and worth living to the max. So let me try to give back with a sweet, sweet video. Now the question, how much SSD space do you need? I thought about this a very long time. So let me present you my learnings so far. Until a few months ago, I had 120 eight gigabytes of SSD capacity in my old PC, in my old tower. That was clearly not enough. It was, it was horrible. And I would say, I dare to say 256 is not enough either. No, you need at least 512 gigabytes of SSD capacity in 2020 for sure. Anything less will suck, believe me. I, you know, the struggle was real, especially on the 128. I have, no, it was just, it was ridiculous. It was just maxed out all the time, just with the programs and you, you don't ever want this. You don't ever want this to happen to you, believe me. I did an upgrade in this vlog right here. I upgraded to 500 gigabytes of SSD space and this is pretty much, yeah, this solved all my problems. So 500 gigabytes, 512 gigabytes is, in my opinion, the bare minimum that you need in 2020. If you only have an SSD, you will at least need one terabyte, no question about that. But for a, you know, somewhat budget-ish build, and if you're also only going to store all the programs on it, Windows, or I don't know, and all the, all the programs, nothing else than 500 gigabytes will do the trick. If you plan on putting more stuff on it, one terabyte at least, and I, for my current build, for my ridiculous over-the-top build, I got myself two of these. I can highly recommend these. They are, compared to the, the older ones, very affordable, a bit faster. 970 EVO plus, amazing stuff. By now, probably there is also, there is already better stuff out. I'm sitting on this for a few months, so I'm stupid. I know, but yeah, I got myself two one terabytes, so two terabytes all in all. I plan to store my programs on one disk and the other disk, well, the other drive, the other chip actually is for music related stuff like libraries, sound banks, and also probably like overlays for f videos, effects and stuff like that. So that's my reasoning right there. I will only use these two drives in my build because I have a storage, how am I not remembering the word? My NAS, network attached storage. storage. You can check out the review right here. I'm still using it, I'm still highly amazed by it, it's awesome. With a 10 gigabit port, with a 10 gigabit ether net. Anyways, you will need at least 512 gigabytes, trust me on that. Anything else, you will, it will be a pain in the butt. No question about that. Okay, in the next one, I will actually implement these. I will insert these in the world's most expensive mainboard. <laughs> Not even joking, it's true. I will put these inside here in the X570 Aqua. It's gonna be awesome and I hope I won't mess this up. Uh, yeah, we will find out about that together, I guess, because yeah, that's, that's the vlog right here, by the way. I hope this helped. Leave your thoughts in the comments if you have other another op opinion, <laughs> but that's it for this one. Smash the like button. The way you will totally smash your 128 gigabytes SSD if you plan on installing more than 10 programs. Anyways, bang the bell like crap, to never miss PC build related vlogs and check the recent news on chrisviral.com. And that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow.